After Effects buddies, let's take a look at how to make a very simple bar graph with numbers, okay, that's all controllable through one panel, which is this percentages panel I've made with a null object. I can adjust the slider here, okay, and that can change all the numbers, can be animated really, really simply, okay. And what I've also done is I've made the layers shy, which is a good little tip for if you're making a kind of um, template for somebody. So that you only see the layer that you need to adjust. Okay, but I'm going to undo these layers so you can see what I've done here. So I've got a background layer. There it is, a green background. And I've also got a some shape layers. There we go. A green, a yellow, a blue and a red. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this composition and just going to uh, delete these. I'll keep the background there just to show you how I put this together. And I'll just do one of the bars, you know, because I don't need to do it four times because once you've done one, you can just repeat the process for the other four. Okay, so I'll make a shape okay so I'll do a fill let's do a red one again okay and I'm going to just draw a shape here and this could be bar one okay so however far you want it to go until it gets to 100% there you go okay and I'm going to take the anchor point of this layer which I can change by Pressing the Y key or clicking up here on the pan behind anchor point tool up here. So Y is the shortcut and just click on the layer to get the main anchor point there. And I'm going to move this over. Now I've got snapping turned on so it can snap. If I don't have snapping turned on, I can always just hold down the command on a PC, the control key. And I just want to snap it to this edge. Okay. So that it's going to scale from this side. Okay. And what I also did, if I duplicate that three times, so there you go, I'll take this bottom layer, I'll position it to the bottom, and then I can take the four layers and I can go to my align window, which I've got open, there it is, align, I can distribute them, and I've got a nice spread of layers. And I can just change the colors so I'll go back to my shape tool. All right, so I can just pick different colors for these. I'll just pick some random colors here. And what I also did, I won't do it now just to save time. I renamed the layers with the corresponding colors. Okay. And here you can see I just named them red, blue, yellow, green, just so it's obvious what the layers are. But you don't need to do that now. Um, Okay, so I'm also going to put a number in here. So my text tool. So let's put a number. Right. Just put 100. It's like a placeholder. Oops, wrong key. 100. There we are. And I can move that. I'll put that on the edge there. I'm going to make sure this is left justified. Okay, it's just on the edge. Might make that a little smaller. Something like that. And again, I'm going to duplicate this and I'll take the bottom one, I'll drag it down. Okay, I've all down shift. As I drag it, it'll keep it locked vertically. And again, I'll take these, okay, and I'll al align these, distribute them. There we go. So we've got one, two, three. So I've got matching numbers and layers. And I usually like to put these together in here and also just to make things very obvious I'll usually kind of okay oh, I will usually take right click on the uh, colors and match the colors to the shape this kind of thing so a lot of After Effects if you set things up nicely to make things obvious it's often a good way to work you know because you open up projects and you can quickly see what layers what. All right. 
So I've set these up. I've got my shapes. Okay, I've got my numbers. And what I'm going to do to this is add a new null object. Here it is, null object. Okay, and I'll rename this. Um, I'll call this percentages. Okay, and I could give that a different color as well. Let's make it purple, for example. All right. And I'm going to add to this some sliders. So I'm going to take a slider control, drop that on, and then just uh, Command D. Okay, and I don't need to rename them, but I will. It's always a good thing to do, so I'll rename it red, blue, green, and yellow. All right. And then what I'm going to do is just use the pick whip to connect all this up. So I'll just do the red one and then you just do the same process for each number and bar. So let's start with the number. Okay. So what I'm going to do is click on this layer and I'm going to click on the lock here so that the sliders remain open. And I'll just open up those sliders so you can see. Okay. So we've got four sliders there. Uh, so with the number, I'm going to open up the number and the text, I'm going to open that up and I'm going to use the pick whip here by the source text to connect the number to the slider. Okay, so now the slider gives us a number. But the problem is it's got lots of decimal points. Okay, so I can fix that quite easily. I'm going to press double E on this layer to see the expression. And then I'm going to add this to the end of the expression. A full stop, value, there it is, lowercase, the word value, another full stop, and then two, capital F, but if we just start typing it, After Effects will fill this in, two fixed, and the number I'll make zero. So we get zero decimal points. So, so I can now move that slider and the numbers go up, okay? So I can do that for every number. So connect the blue number to the blue slider, etc. And then for the shape, okay, I'm going to hit S for scale. I'm going to parent the scale to the same slider. Now, the problem is it's scaling it both horizontally and vertically, and I only want it to scale horizontally. But I can fix that. I can again press double E to see the expression, and I'll just click in here. So these two temp temp, this temp is giving a temporary number for the horizontal scale and this for the vertical okay temp meaning that it's uh, temporarily being provided by the slider so if I change the second number which is the vertical scale to 100 okay that's going to remain fixed at that value so I, when I do the slider only the horizontal scale will change and now I can keyframe this with the keyframes and I've got myself a very easy to animate bar graph. Okay, so when I'm finished, when I've connected them all up in the same way, I just need to select all these. I will um, activate the shy guy and I'll just make all these layers shy. And now if somebody else opens this, they'll just see one layer. They can think, all right, that's all I need to do to animate this is move these sliders keyframe those and we can get animations like this okay so we're just keyframing just the sliders here and that makes things very simple it saves us having to keep going into different layers and opening them up to animate the properties because all our controls are in this slider this panel on the top left here so Always, uh, always make things simple for yourself. That's my motto. So thanks for watching, buddies. Cheers.